the former national chairman of the APC, Adams Ushomole, has narrated how Bola Tinubu was able to secure re-election as governor of Lagos State despite the efforts of former president Ulushe Gwambasanjo allegedly made to stop him. Recall that while Obasanjo was president of Nigeria from 1999 to 2007 under the platform of the PDP, Tinumbu was the governor of Lagos during the same period under the AD. In a video shared on YouTube by Viable TV, Ushomale made it known that in the 2003 general elections, Obasanjo wanted the then ruling party PDP to win the gubernatorial election in Lagos and he employed several tactics to achieve that, but Tinumbu had tweeted him. He said Obasanjo changed the state commissioner of police and INEC resident electoral commissioner in the state a week before the election. However, Tinumbu won the election because he was able to mobilize the people to defend their votes. About one to three minutes into the video, Oshumole said, our candidate senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu is not a stranger to politics. He has run election under very difficult conditions. You recall when in one of the elections a week before the election, they changed the commissioner of police twice. They changed the IREC, INEC rec three times. They changed all the EOs 24 hours before the election because the then president Obasanjo wanted to by all means take over Lagos. That was their language and Ashiwaju stopped them from doing it by mobilizing the people to defend their votes under a very repressive federal might and yet he retained Lagos even with the commissioner of police who was imposed by somebody who was determined to take over Lagos to take over Lagos is Lagos not part of the of Nigeria because I don't understand to take over Lagos is Lagos a different country I don't really understand or is Lagos not under is not operating under the Federal Republic of Nigeria where well, every time this man will be saying things he doesn't even know fake information by all the time in the name of campaign hmm. well some people believe that oh what Oshomole said is the truth in addition Obasanjo stopped giving and releasing allocation to him by then and he survived it no matter how difficult it is Tinubu will also win the race inshallah did you know the reason why Obasanjo did did not give him allocation as at that time by right, state doesn't have power to create local government council. And if at all you create development area, you should not expect federal government to finance the development area. But Tinubu was expecting Obasanjo to finance the development area instead of him to collect allocation based on the numbers of local government areas in the state. He insisted that federal government must include the development area. So, you know... Um, we, are, we don't really get most of all this information all the time. They just try to model things up. Because from what I can guess, because before then, maybe some people were not born, maybe some people were not even inclined to policies. Even as we are talking, and some people don't even know what is happening in the politics until you start following. Because these guys, they will just chunk out, chunk out some kind of information that are not true. And if nobody is coming out to challenge them, it becomes the reality. I think from some, the way it's been explained, the, uh, their original local government that the federal government is supposed to be operating on or supposed to be oiling or servicing. But now you went to go and create something outside the constitution and you expect the local government or the federal government to sponsor or to fund that local government. I think that was where the problem is. But even the people that are involved, they will not even come out and explain to the people because a lot of Nigerians are illiterate as far as politics is concerned you might be educated but if you are not following the politics in this country whatever they chunk out to you unless you do and do your go and do your research but how many people do their research they don't do research everybody just okay follow the bandwagon that is how it has always been so but they will tell you oh they seize allocation they did not give allocation but what happened does obasanjo have the right to seize allocation of his state that is the question we need to be asking. But a lot of people will run with us. Well, is it not the same Obasanjo? Tinubu went crawling on all fours for his endorsement. They will be making money. The same thing is happening in uh, Afeni Ferry. they will tell you they don't have right to speak on behalf of the Nigerian, of, on behalf of Yorubas. Oh, they don't have right to do this. They don't have right to do that. At the end of the day, they don't have an electoral vote or electoral value. You see, go and meet them. 
be praying for them to pray for you. But once they disagree with them, they don't say they don't have electoral value. That all the people that they have supported, all the party they've supported, that they've always those people will always fail. But you still go and meet them. Oh my God. Well, what is about some of your factors in Nigeria policies today from your side? And you are always or you always want to insult the Baba for God's sake, Ushumole, so that you can be relevant. The Baba is DRC as African eminent personality with Erufai and Soludo. What is your value internationally? God will deliver you. What this nonsense has to do with say people, PDP and APC are no longer relevant to redeem deliverance citizens of Nigeria indeed. Then now Lagos State is Tinubu's colony. That's why they would say you say it's, it's the owner of Lagos. Like seriously, Oshomole is a first class and serial liar. These are people that want to rule Nigeria. They don't want to rule Nigeria. They are ruling Nigeria and they want to continue ruling Nigeria. That's just what it is. Not that they want to rule Nigeria. Well, if it is so, let there be no rigging because there is going to be international observers. Hmm. Mr. Man, you have to be careful because people that take Obasanjo for granted always regret their actions. Later, be warned, Mr. Osho. Okay, I've not even seen the outcome of Agbero governor in Lagos State. Even Oshomole himself is a crook. If not because of, of our constitution that is weak. If not that our constitution is weak, these are the sets of people that are supposed to be sentenced. Honestly. <laughs> Well, somebody believes that Oshomole is saying the truth, nothing but the truth. 2003, Obasanjo truly wanted to conquer Lagos State, but Jagaban had tweeted him to the game. Because we don't even ask, ask questions to take over Lagos from where to who. I don't understand. If uh, Obasanjo had taken over Lagos at that time, now Obasanjo is no longer the president. So what would not happen? That is why Ebora Owu did, did all within his power to crickle or to crack the Lagos State by withholding their federal allocations then. No, certain who created local government areas not recognized by the constitution. So, how do you release revenue to these newly created local government areas? I think you guys can really get it because this this statement or whatever, whether you see it as lie, has been going on for a very long time that a Tinu Obasan just seized the allocation of Lagos and he has been doing that. They said he created, let's go and do our verification. He created local government where he's not supposed to. And by constitution, he's not supposed to do that. And that's why you see tax, 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 tax. At the end of the day, the tax, they are even taxing people. Are we even seeing the results? No, it's going, it's, it, it has where it's going to. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.